Behind us right here, you are looking live at pictures courtesy of the Channel 9 drone that's flying over Trout Lake in Lake County. Yeah, this is one of three lakes that the county says, Greg, have algae blooms. Channel 9's Merp Price is also live near Trout Lake, and Merp people cannot even get in the water right now. Well, actually, there's no swimming allowed here at Trout Lake, but there is an awful lot of fishing. People say it is great fishing. Behind me, you can see the Eyewitness News drone. Now, people we talked to today say they're concerned because test in, water sample test here found algae blooms inside this lake. This afternoon, our cameras were rolling above Trout Lake from the shore and even below the surface of the water. Health officials say along with Trout Lake, Lake Carlton and Lake Denham also had algae blooms detected. Bill Sains lives nearby and says he's always on the water. Catching a lot of nice fish out there and I haven't really recognized any of the algae blooms. So far, we haven't been able to see much algae on the surface of the water either. In the past, neighbors say they've seen the algae blooms all over the canal here in the Country Club Manor community. This is what the canal looked like today. And we even spotted fishermen out enjoying the afternoon. Health officials are working to determine the extent of the algae blooms. But so far, we haven't seen any dead fish or other wildlife. Although naturally occurring nutrients, warm temperatures, reduced water flow, and lack of animals that eat algae can make the issue worse. In some cases, the algae can produce toxins in the water that can contribute to environmental problems and affect public health. It's a very big concern. As much as I enjoy it, yeah, I'd hate to see anything like that happen. Samples were tested to determine if toxic levels were present. Late this afternoon, we learned that no toxic levels were found in Carlton or Trout Lake. Experts tell me it's not uncommon for algae blooms to develop without toxins being present. Now, so far, we're waiting to hear about the results in the other lake. As for the algae bloom, officials say that even though it's not toxic, it can also cause problems by sucking out oxygen from the water and also blocking out the sun for plants that are underneath. Reporting live in Lake County, Merck Price, Channel 9, Eyewitness News. Tomorrow, a group 